Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these DiGiorno um, artisan style melts. This is the pepperoni special. It's garlic and onion focaccia bread topped with pepperoni, marinara sauce, and three types of mozzarella cheeses. So it sounds really good. Looks pretty decent. Uh, there are two in the package. I'm going to go ahead and slide them out of here and then I'll do the other stuff. Here's the calories. 320 calories each, so it's uh, not low calorie. The other information, sodium is good. Cholesterol is not horrible. So you can do it in the oven and the toaster oven, but of course we're not going to do that. We're going to do a microwave. So you remove one product from the plastic wrap, place it onto a, the crisping tray, just like it is pretty much, directly on the microwave surface. No, don't do that. Put it on a paper plate of some kind or a paper towel or something because the cheese runs off. The cheese runs over to the thing and you're going to make a mess of your microwave. So put something underneath of it. Um, microwave on high for one product, it's one minute and 30 seconds. For two, it's three minutes. So there's kind of one and a half and three. And then um, basically just be careful, it's going to be hot. So this is what they look like. You get two of them. And like I said, I'm only going to eat one, but two is pretty cool. Uh, these, by the way, were 334 at Kroger. This is where we bought them, but they sell them all over the place. So I'm going to get this in the microwave. I'm going to move the plastic, of course, put it on a paper plate, and I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave. And you see what a mess it would have made if you'd left that on the microwave itself. And um, most of the cheese ran off. Most of the cheese, like, disappeared. It turned to a liquid. Um, so I'm going to try to scrape some of this off and put it back on there. I'm wondering if I should have gone, even though it said one and a half, I wonder if I shouldn't have gone like 120 or so. Uh, I probably would if, if I did make the next one. So, so anyway, I'll be back when this cools off and I get it cut up. Okay, it's had some time to cool off. So here's the bite I'm going to take. I'm just going to put some meat and stuff on it. So I'm going to take that bite. That was a big bite. Um, the pepperoni is really good. It's got a spice to it, so it's the, so it's a good spicy pepperoni. Um, the crust is good. It's good and tender throughout, or good and soft, but it's got a little bit of a crisp on the bottom, so that's good. It's not hard. Sometimes these get dried out and get hard and like a cracker, but this one's pretty good. Um, I'm disappointed that the cheese kind of all ran off. Like I said, that probably has to do with the timing in the microwave, but um, you know, if that's the case, then maybe... I don't know, suggest the time range or something like that. I don't know. It said literally like 130. Now on that box, it probably said this is geared towards whatever range of microwave. My microwave is not that powerful. I mean, it's it's good, but it's not that good. Um, so I don't know. I, I would probably, any microwave meal is always a, you kind of find that sweet spot for the time and then you know it from now on. This one was just too long, I think. So all the make cheese melt up. Or it could just be it's mozzarella cheese and that's how it does. Anyway. Pretty good. I still think I'd rather have just a pizza. A regular old pizza, um, a Smart Ones pizza, or one of those, I don't know, they're low calorie pizzas, but they're like square in the box. Um, I think I prefer those to, the, to these, um, just because it's it, the flavor's a little bit better and, um, and the calories are about the same. So, so anyway, I'm gonna give this one I'm gonna give it a three and a half. It's not a bad thing. It's just, um, I wish some of the cheeses stayed around. And um, you don't get a lot for 300 and some calories. So, so anyway, that's my only complaints about it. Otherwise, the flavor is pretty good. Um, the pepperoni has a really good flavor. So if you get the pepperonis in every bite, you're, you'll really have a lot of that spicy pepperoni flavor. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.